Hey besties, welcome back to another vlog on my channel. Today is January 1st and Happy New Year's to everybody out there. It is the 1st of 2024 and I am so excited for this year, y'all. I don't want to sound super cliche about it, but you know, a new year is always exciting, but why do I keep saying but? There is no but. A new year is always exciting. Um, last night I did not do anything for New Year's, of course, because I am very much pregnant. Okay, we are 34, 34, about to be 35 weeks pregnant in a few days, and we just relaxed for New Year's. Um, we played the game, I've been playing the PS5, we played the game, we ate good food, we Uber Eats some good food. I watched all the vlogs that I've been wanting to watch, like all of my girls posted yesterday on their channel. So I was just chilling yesterday, like in the house. But for the most part, we're just going with the flow today. It's the first of the year. Um, some good habits that I really want to reinforce is cooking more, eating out less. Today I'm already Uber Eats, so I can't really say I'm living by it today. But it's good to start a resolution. I don't know. I just try and be, be the best that I can each and every day. So I just have on this sweater because it is like 40 degrees in Atlanta. And my little dress and of course my vans. And we're about to head out. I need to get something to eat for lunch this morning. I had got us smoothies um, and I had some scrambled eggs with cheese. But it's like 2 o'clock now and I need to eat again. So let's see what we're gonna get i really want some pizza again that pizza that we got in my last video that was a 36 minute video also i hope y'all really watched it all the way through and enjoyed it like it took a long time to edit but that was like almost 40 minutes of footage that y'all got so let's go ahead and leave in inclusion to that y'all tomorrow we have a hospital tour and i'm so excited for that because i was trying so hard to get into this hospital tour because they like had limited availability like they only had like 12 tickets to get into the hospital tours and i'm like every time i try and look it's closed and i want to know what hospital i'm delivering at like i want to be able to see the rooms be informed you know i love to be informed so they kept saying like they kept saying like oh you can do a virtual tour and i'm like no like i don't want a virtual tour i need an in-person tour so at the first of the year, um, the calendar opened up and I was able to get us a, <laughs> and I was able to get us a in-person tour for tomorrow. So I'm, we're going to be going there after work tomorrow and I'm so excited and I will be vlogging that. So stay on the lookout for that. at Publix I decided I'm gonna do a a chicken sub hopefully it's not a man cooking it but <laughs> we'll see so I ended up getting a chicken sub This should be good. I decided to get the buffalo chicken tenders versus the regular ones. And I don't get deli meat just because I'm too nervous to eat deli meat pregnant. I really just don't want to. Um, thank you. Is there a way I can get a side of the deli dressing in a cup? My favorite part is putting the oil on the sandwich. Oh my gosh. The freaking, I didn't even realize that the, um, everything is closed well not everything but mainly the car washes that we were planning to go to is closed so i don't know about that we'll have to wait and see let's taste it guys hopefully it's good now that that was delicious i rate that like a nine out of ten Maybe an 8 out of 10. I'm ready to go back to work, actually. This kind of makes me wonder, because it's like, if I'm getting so bored on these two-week breaks, what's going to happen when I'm a stay-at-home mom? 
maybe I won't be so bored I'll have things to do right I'm hoping that's what it is but I just get so bored being in the house all the time like I be wanting to go back to work like let me know how if you have experience like staying at home um like being a stay-at-home mom or just not working or working from home I feel like I would get so bored with working from home because I'm just at home all the time and I don't really like that I you know I don't know but we'll see we definitely will see I have no choice but to be home for some time but we will see about if I want to potentially work from home or you know just be home for a long time I know the benefit of being home for a long time is being able to teach baby girl and homeschool her for some time and all of that stuff <clears throat> not homeschool her but you know teach her up until she's one and give her these experiences that I've always wanted to so I would let that trap my boredom overall like me being bored does not trump the experience of being able to stay at home for some time so that really doesn't matter but I just would have to get creative with being at home if you get what I'm trying to say have a lot of outings so yeah I don't know what we're about to do next we're just getting out the house because we've been at home since New Year's Eve so so update let me open this a little bit we picked up some donuts very much giving third trimester things sis because I never be wanting no donuts but I have been like craving donuts so we stopped and got me like a little three pack of um what is this what is this called original glazed donuts so I'll probably eat the rest of that later on tonight but we're grabbing the pizza that we're gonna have for dinner also because I'm craving pizza but y'all I feel so big now like we were just we walked into this bookstore and at first before going into the bookstore I'm like I don't feel like it like I was like what are we doing here and he's like let's just go and see like you won't know until you see so at first I'm gonna be like I'm gonna stay in the car but I remember like I need to be as act not as active as possible but I need to make sure that I am still walking and being a little bit more active because I have just been relaxing but it's just that walking around like malls and walking places period have been harder because it's so heavy down there I, it gets tight sometimes having to pee every second in every store it's just a lot so regardless I still went in the store we looked at some books and some games I've been trying to find Uno so we can play Uno together I've been loving like playing games at home together that has been our that's been our love language lately <laughs> it's been fun so we didn't find Uno um, but we're about to go home and eat this pizza and I will probably have to um, show y'all the travel system opening up the travel system later on tonight I, I, I can't promise what's gonna happen tonight I can't promise I don't know what's gonna happen but um, all of these boxes in my car we gotta drop them by the trash because this is not giving my car is ready we have a lot of we've been getting a lot of packages like I told y'all like we get packages like well we were getting packages like every other day but I still have boxes in my car from stuff so we're gonna throw them by the trash and that should be that It is the next day clearly and I am getting ready for work. Today is a digital learning day at work so I am able to wear what I want which is why I have on a graphic t-shirt and some leggings just to be comfortable. I really wanted to bring my bouncing ball but I might have my fiance drop it off on his way to work because 
I'm not looking forward to sitting in my office chair the whole day. It's so uncomfortable. And I'm kind of getting worried about being this pregnant and being at work since I'm already uncomfortable at home most times. I'm very anxious to see how it's going to be walking to and from the meetings and walking around this huge building. And I know the walking will be good, but it is an adjustment always going back to work and it's definitely an adjustment going back almost 35 weeks pregnant so yeah i'm gonna stop and get breakfast <sighs> maybe a smoothie i don't know but yeah it's cold i'm letting my car heat up right now we're at work i've been at work for probably like a few hours we just got out of the we just got out of a meeting and oh my gosh Everything has been good. They gave us Chick-fil-A biscuits for the morning, which is super nice because I already got one this morning. But, I mean, two Chick-fil-A biscuits ain't never hurt nobody, right? Everybody's like, oh my gosh, Miss Brown, you're growing so much. And I'm like, yeah. Somebody said it looks like I gained 100 pounds, but he's so funny. I don't take him serious. It's a lot of comments on how big I've got and how much I've grown, so... We literally have like five to ten minutes before our next meeting and I walk down here. I hope I don't regret it. But I am I'm gonna work on this training while I'm in here. We have this training that is a training that is worth five hundred dollars. You know, as a teacher, they pay you for some some professional learning. So I'm doing this training so it can be added onto my check because since I need all the coins, I'm about to go on maternity leave. So, And another thing is, I was talking to my coworkers about summer school. I have baby girl in, well, I plan, baby girl's due date is in February. Summer school usually starts in, I think, July. And it's only like 13 days. So I plan on doing that because summer school pay. Baby girl, I want that. I need that. Okay. So I plan on doing that. It is cold in here. My classroom looks so clean. Clean, like I said, cleaned it over break. But um, it has been a lot of questions about like when am I actually leaving and going on maternity leave, which I honestly plan to work till the end of January, which is like, mm, what week is that? Oh, I plan to stop working two weeks before my due date. So that's like the second to last week in January is when I plan to stop working. Now, can I foresee the future? No, because I'll be 38 weeks at that second to last, second to last week of January, but I'll be 38 weeks. So basically I'm saying I'm working up until 38 weeks. Can I foresee the future? Hex no, I cannot, but I can try and I can just gauge and see how I'm feeling. Um, my school already has my stellar substitute, which will be taking my place. And I mean, I'm going to leave my classroom how it is. And before the school year ends, I will come back and, you know, take like my carpet and can you guys see Why is it blurry? Take stuff off the wall and, you know, just help take the classroom down. Of course, I can't take it down before I go on break. So um, I'll have to probably come back the last few days of school to get rid of that. Um, cause I'm not coming back after the baby, but like I said, the last three days of school or two days of school, I'm going to come back and take stuff down. So that's that. I need to start walking down here for this meeting. But my computer is always dead. Like what's tea? Basically. Yeah. Showing me back at work. Um, I showed them in my car, in the car when I first got it. Miss McKinney's asking me questions, my instructional clerk. She like she gonna run, she don't wanna be on the camera, but my instructional clerk, y'all, this year has been amazing. 
last year I had a different clerk and you know, instructional clerk basically helps you with your classroom, helps helps things flow, it helps instructional learning, all of the above. Some people want to call it assistant. It can be identified as that, but they call it instructional clerk at my school. But Miss McKinney, she be helping your girl out, okay? And I be out a lot of the days because I have doctor's appointments and things like that. <sighs> but she's very capable. She gets things done. She helps when needed. So shout outs to Miss McKinney. I'm not going to put the camera on her because I know she probably don't want <laughs> to. But yeah, um, we're about to leave work literally like now. It's 340. I don't want to take out time. Yeah, we're about to leave work now. So I'm going to head home and... Um, get ready for the hospital tour because we have that today. I'm so excited. I already told y'all that. But we have the hospital tour at 5 p.m. So I'm going to go home and get like adjusted, whatever, whatever. All right, so I just got home. I'm about to change my clothes. And honestly, 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 I'm going to go ahead and don't hate me off. But this is going to make y'all stay ready for the next video that will literally be posted tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video off here because I feel like I've already showed you guys a lot of today and I kinda wanna make this video separate of us going to visit the hospital, which we're about to go do now. I am so out of breath, honey. Um, I think I'm gonna wear something a little different. Yeah, I'm gonna make that a separate video so y'all can stay with me for some time. Look at my, look, Coco's in the bed. That's my baby Coco. I'm about to change my clothes real quick. What should I wear? Alexa, what's the weather? The current weather is 52 degrees Fahrenheit. It's 52 degrees. Maybe I'm going to wear a dress. I'm going to change into a dress. I do have on one of my nursing bras that I got from Target. It is very cute and comfortable, so size medium, and it's easily able to clip up and move down and feed the baby. So I've been wearing my nursing bras mainly because I still have been leaking, and I cannot wait to start harvesting colostrum and collecting it in syringes, which is coming very soon. In literally two weeks, I'll be able to. <sighs> I'm talking too much today or something, something. I'm constantly out of breath. And then another thing that I did want to share is I'm going to be having to take off my ring or get it resized because today it has been really hard to get it off and it's getting tight because my hands are swollen. So I'm going to have to, I think I'm going to get it resized again because I want to be able to wear it. I don't want to not wear it because my fingers are swollen. So I'm going to get it resized to a size nine. Right now it's a size eight. So I'm going to wear this with my sneakers okay so all in all thank you guys so much for watching like i said i'm about to leave and you guys will see the hospital tour in my next video but i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys later bye then.